My buddy Derek, who owns the D Casino downtown, is thinking about selling his Sigma Derby Racer. This is one of the coolest machines ever made for Vegas. So I'm gonna go see if I can buy it. Here it is. This was like the coolest thing in the world back in the 80s. Me and my buddies used to play this thing all night long. You know, it's, it's not like a... Can I borrow a couple of bucks? You got hundreds. That'll do. Bring me change. Yeah. I'm gonna get two rolls of quarters. Or 10. <laughs> the Sigma Derby is a slot machine that 10 people can play together. This is a machine that uh, has a life unto itself. And uh, you know, a lot of people believe if you come to Vegas and make your first bet on Sigma Derby, it's good luck for the rest of the weekend. Back in the day, I absolutely loved these things. You and all your buddies could play the thing, and uh, it only cost a quarter, and you know, it limited the amount of money you could lose. You have to wait for all your buddies to make a bet, and then you gotta wait for it to go around. It's not like a slot machine that takes two seconds. That's right, it's a community slot machine. You can have a drink here, and everybody's in it together. Did you win, chum? No! <laughs> <laughs> This machine's pretty iconic here in Vegas. There's only a couple of them left, and I know it could be worth a ton of money. I just gotta see what he wants for it. So you thinking about selling it, maybe? You know, we've had it up here a couple years. I've loved this game, but uh, but I'm open. Okay. How much you want for it? This thing's pretty special. I probably need about 80,000. Um, I have no idea if that's a good price. So, um, let me call a buddy of mine and uh, let me have a look at it. All right? All right. I'm so proud of this machine that if Rick can bring an expert in, I'm excited about it because I think he's going to see what, what, what great shape this one's in. So what do you think? I like it. Let me tell you a little bit about the machine. Sigma was created by Katsuki Minabe back in the 60s. And he learned quickly to compete in the slot machine industry, you need to make machines that are not like everybody else is making. So he made this. And just about every major casino in town back in 1985 had one of these. But uh, this particular machine is really nice to see because it works. That was the biggest problem with these is that they were always breaking down. Well, what do you want to know? Um, well, does it run right? Well, apparently it runs right. What do these things go for? It's very rare to find one of these really working, and he's got all 10 stations that are running. I've seen them as low as 7,000 in unrestored shape, but on this shape, probably at least 30, 40,000. OK. Well, cool. Thanks, man. Hey, you're welcome. Very nice to meet you. Hey, great to meet you. Hey, Nick. Yeah? Before you leave, can you yeah. change the settings so I can win? I would love to, <laughs> but that would be cheating. A collector would want this because it's unique. But first of all, you got to have a place to put it. And then you have to find the right buyer that's going to invest their, their basement space for this. So yeah, I mean, if they get a good price for it, yeah, it'd be a good buy. So how much did you want for this thing? You know, for me, I needed 80. Um, that's not going to happen. Well, I guess I can't make you an offer. There's just no money here. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for showing it to me. Thanks. It brings back memories. Come on, Chum. Hold on, I'm waiting on this last race. Chum. I'll meet you in the car one minute behind you. OK, you're not there in two minutes. I'm leaving without. You're walking to the shop. You know, for us, it's uh, still uh, something really special. I think at the price the expert uh, put out there, it's worth a lot more to us on the floor. Yeah! Woo! Hold up, Rick, let me cash out.